Hello, I um, checked into a hotel again. I had to come back to the Okanagan because my parents just need to have somebody around. They don't need help, they just need to have somebody around. And so I uh, came back, but because it's so hot, um, I can't stand my van. It's really, really hot here. And for me to go somewhere um, cooler, like up in the hills or something, uh, I wouldn't be able to do that because I'd be out of cell range. And the whole purpose of being in the Okanagan is to be um, available to my parents if they need something. And uh, I can't do that if they can't call me. So, so I'm in a hotel. So I'm kind of calling this another reset, but it's a really long one because I'll be here for a week. Uh, other family members will come down and, and um, take care of things after that. But uh, I got checked into this hotel and I wasn't, I was so looking forward to a shower. As you can tell, I really need a shower. Um, I was really looking forward to a shower. Wasn't able to do it because the tub was so deep that I knew if I got in there I was never getting out and they said they didn't have a sh shower chair um, but oddly enough they've come up with a shower chair but I can't use it anyways because I just I refuse to have a shower um, without a handheld shower because you just can't control the water um, I just don't like <laughs> I just don't like it it's horrible um, anyways, I will take another video in a sec and show you what the shower is like, but I also wanted to talk about a few other things about this, um, hotel room and, and I will mention that in the next video too, because there are some things that are really good about this hotel room. And then there are other things that just like, they completely missed the boat on it. Um, so they've moved me, they will be moving me in the next half hour or so down to another room that has a roll-in shower but I've looked at that on pictures and the bench is, it's one of those, I don't know, I think it's like a six foot big shower and the bench is at one end, it folds down from the wall and the controls are at the other end and I can't reach them when I'm sitting on the bench. So I'll have to figure that out, but at least I'll be able to have a shower. It will be awkward, but it, I'll still be able to do it. But I'm gonna um, show you around this room, so. So the room is quite nice. I'm sorry, I can't, I have a flat tire right now, so it's really hard to move around. So I'm not gonna try and videotape and move around. It has the TV up on the wall behind me. So you can see it from the bed. I like that the bed is on that wall and the door is there. It just doesn't feel like you have as much light glaring in your eyes from under the door. The bed is a really nice level. It's even with my wheelchair, so it's an even transfer over, which is really great. The table is quite high um, for working on, so I feel like my arms are not resting while I'm working, but it's definitely wheel under, which is really nice. The, um, the bedside table, the lamp has the on off button right there, which is so easy to reach. I hate when I'm reading in bed. Whoops, gotta go, got a phone call. So the bathroom is a really nice big bathroom. I'm gonna actually back up. Lots of room. Nice wheel and under sink. The sinks, I don't know why they always put the sink so far back. You have to lean over to get when you're brushing your teeth and the toothpaste goes everywhere. But anyways, maybe that's just my problem, but that is a problem. So the bathtub, sorry, still have a flat tire, it's awkward. The bathtub, if you're an able-bodied person, this would be a fabulous bathtub. It's nice and deep and you could soak in it. But if I got down in that bathtub, I would never come back out again. I wouldn't be able to get out. And a major problem is it's not a handheld shower unit. It's just a regular shower. I don't know why they have that, but 
Anyways, that's the bathroom. Also has a nice closet. The blankets are way up there, which is awkward, but probably could get it somehow. There's an ironing board that you can move around and an iron and the um, clothes rack is nice and low, which is really nice. So I'll do another review on the room that I get moved to when I get moved to it. But if you're looking for a hotel in Vernon, BC, this is the best Western. There's two best Westerns in Vernon. One is on Anderson and one is on 34th. This one is on 34th. So just um, hopefully this is helpful information if you're looking for a hotel in Vernon. Well, I've been moved to my new room now and uh, <laughs> I just, I'm tired I think because it just frustrates me. Um, the bed in this one, I was so thrilled with the bed in the other one. The bed in this room, I have to, that might not seem like a whole lot of distance to have to get up, but it is. The other bed was completely level with my chair and it was wonderful. So this one I've got to try and get, I'm older. I used to be able to do that no problem. Uh, anyways, now I'm gonna take you into the shower. So everything's the same about this bathroom except that it's a roll-in shower. And it does have a handheld shower and they offered me this um, bath seat because the controls are there and the seat, oh my gosh, that seat is so low. This is gonna be interesting. Anyways, the bath seat that they offered me, no back on it. And you're gonna have a death wish to wanna get on that. So the handheld shower unit, I'm pulling it over using the bath seat. At least it's good for something. And I'll have to turn the water on before I get in and hopefully not get everything all wet. The floor is gonna be soaked in here by the time I'm done. A little annoyed, but I'll get over it. Well, I'm feeling very clean and fresh. I just had a shower. Feels absolutely amazing when you go so long without having a, a good shower. Sponge baths are fine, but uh, a good shower? Oh boy, you just can't beat it. But I showed you the shower yesterday, and today I'm gonna explain how it went. So I mentioned yesterday that they gave me this little shower bench that nobody in their right mind, not even an able-bodied person would sit on that. Um, but it did come in handy for putting the soap and um, my little scrapey gloves, whatever they're called you know, exfoliating gloves, whatever. Anyways, for putting things on, but I had to have the shower on the whole time and it's a good thing that the pressure was not enough to blow it out of that hole there because if it, uh, if it had gone out of there, then I wouldn't have been able to finish my shower. And getting down onto this bench, it's lower than my chair. I managed it, but like most wheel and showers, there's a lip which, you know, you might not think that that causes a big problem, but um, trying to line up your chair properly without one of the wheels being on that lip, to lip and throwing everything off balance. So it was difficult to get onto that. And once I was on it and once it got wet, it was a little bit, I love that it's padded and that it's something that's easily cleaned so you know that it's been cleaned or at least you hope it's been cleaned from the last person but it gets slippery and when you don't have your legs to brace you and you're hanging on to everything else um, you know the water and you're trying to scrub uh, you don't have anything to hang on to keep you from sliding off that so it was scary but 
I guess I have to say it's better than some places I've been at, but uh, still it was a scary, scary ride this morning, but now I'm clean and I feel really great. I guess to end off this video, I can just uh, mention a couple other things. Um, the longer I stayed at this hotel, it's a nice hotel. It was very expensive. That's partly because of the time of year. It was right up close to the busiest long weekend of the year. And this is a tourist area. Um, so it was really expensive. I think it would have been really expensive anyways, but I never got the feeling that the that the people that own the hotel really care about it. They, <laughs> I needed, the toilet seat was loose, which is, well, figure it out for yourself. It's not safe. And so uh, I called, or I when I left to go to my parents yesterday, I just told them the seat was loose and could they have it fixed while I was away today or that day. And uh, they, oh yeah, no problem. So as I came back into the hotel uh, later around supper time, I just checked at the desk, did my toilet seat get fixed? Oh yes, yes, it got fixed. So I go in and I go to use the toilet and it's still loose. Um, it was sliding side to side and when you're trying to transfer onto something like that, it's, well, it's just not good, okay? <laughs> so um, I phoned them again and said, oh yeah, we'll have somebody there in 20 minutes. And an hour later, I phoned them again and she goes, yeah, somebody will be there soon. And so I just, you know, I talked in previous videos about having to be your own advocate. You have to be your own advocate sometimes. And sometimes it's not fun. And sometimes you've got to even be stern or I don't know what the word is. Um, the B word comes to mind, but anyways, uh, so I had to tell them that, you know what, this is dangerous and you need to get somebody here now. Well, when I put it that way, uh, somebody was here in five minutes knocking on my door saying, um, I'm here to fix it. And the guy that came to fix it, um, he was tightening it with his hand and I said, you can't, that's not going to stay. Um, okay, I'll go get some tools. So we went and got some tools and fixed it. So... I don't know, if you're not your own advocate, you would never, you would just, it seems to me that you would just always be living in frustration because nothing ever happened for you. But anyways, uh, this is not a hotel. It's a nice hotel, I think, if, you, if you're able-bodied. But if you're not, it's not one that, I don't know, I shouldn't say I wouldn't recommend it because it has its really nice points. But I, I feel like there's a management issue here where they just don't really care about uh, the customer at all. Um, the staff that works here was all really good, but yeah. Anyways, that's it for this week. We'll see you again next week.